Remember that Crucible Basics video I made a week or two ago? Yeah. Now, I'm going to make a video on each topic that was in that video, going a little bit more in depth on each one. So if you haven't watched that video and are new to Destiny or kind of FPS games in general, uh, or really want to improve at the FPS genre, uh, within Destiny. I highly recommend checking that video out. There will be a link in the description below so you can go watch it. Anyway, this week's Crucible Basics are on AIM. And to be clear, this video isn't going to go over every little facet of aiming that you can, you know, do to improve your aim because your aim is a product of a multitude of things which generally come down to practice. Mainly though, it's a product of two things. Your ability to predict enemy movement and your ability to position effectively. Either way, let's go ahead and get into the video. The first way to improve your aim, uh, and probably the surest way to improve it, is just to practice. Uh, I know, very obvious. Play PvP and PvE. Learn the rhythm of your shot pacing with various weapons. Don't be afraid to slow down either. If you're mashing left click while trying to fire a hand cannon, or really any other weapon um, that has more of a click-based rate of fire, you're going to miss some shots. You need to learn the rhythm that the various guns shoot at, at their various rates of fire, and time your clicks with when the gun is ready to fire around. I know that sounds really weird, but if you play the game, you'll kind of get what I mean. Certain rates of fire cater to different click speeds. <laughs> if that makes sense. Clicks in between these various rates of fire will only get you off rhythm and cause you to miss uh, because basically you're vibrating your mouse too much by just mashing left click and panicking essentially is what it boils down to. So slow down, feel the recoil and fire accordingly. Don't panic. It's just the video game at the end of the day. Understanding shot pacing though helps you do things like control the pace of an encounter by knowing when the weapon you're using is able to comfortably and accurately fire. Secondly, Keep your guardian's head at head level. You see that little carrot symbol in the center of the screen, the little A without the line in the middle? That thing is super useful. You only see it when you sprint. If you're just walking around, it goes to like your gun reticle, but it is super useful for keeping your guardian's head at head level. Uh, you can even change the color of it, of the reticle and that little carrot symbol uh, in the settings. That symbol is the center of the screen, so keep it level horizontally as much as you can with where an opponent's head is going to appear. If you're running around looking at the ground or at the sky, it's not going to do you any good because if your opponent is at eye level and you're running around looking at the ground or at the sky, you're starting your encounter at a heavy disadvantage because you have to move your guardian's head a long way before you can effectively start combat. If you have that little symbol centered, uh, the adjustment is generally laterally and a quick adjustment to zero in on your target. Uh, if you have to move vertically at all, that is always going to be a slower adjustment than a horizontal one. Obviously, is it Destiny is a very vertical game, so sometimes it's hard to predict where a guardian's head is going to be. Um, but just do your best using your radar and kind of understanding how different guardians move within the crucible. The last and final tip is your usage of cover and positioning is imperative to aiming well. Don't be standing out in the open, getting peppered with fire, getting flinched, you know, to shit, <laughs> essentially. Strafe in and out of cover if you can, or if you're using a gun that has sustained fire like an auto rifle, uh, have cover very close by that so if you start to take damage you can back up, reposition, and re-engage or just back off the encounter entirely if you're if you're losing it. Make sure you're using unexpected angles as well. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've won encounters because I just jump on top of things and gain the high ground, giving me valuable milliseconds to line up my shot and aim. There are many, many thin sight lines on basically every map. You kind of just have to look for them. Um, so going into a private match or just exploring the maps uh, and trying to find unique angles as you play PvP in general can help you find those. But those are my three tips to improving your aim. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, feel free to like and subscribe and tickle the bell or whatever you know people like to do with the bell. Also feel free to leave a comment if you have any tips you'd like to share or questions you may have for me um, or anything else you'd really like to say. Uh, I also stream live on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday at 8pm so I'd love to see you there. Whether you just want to chill and learn a thing or two about Destiny or just talk. So hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.